What's going on guys, Victor here, and today I'm with Brooke, who is behind the camera, and we're enjoying a beautiful Memorial Day. Hopefully you guys had a Memorial Day, because when you guys are seeing this, it won't be a Memorial Day anymore. But I got a special treat for you. So today, today we're doing a bunch of different stuff. Number one, I got like two catch and cooks planned from today. We're out here on the beach, I got my cast net, and I'm gonna try to cast net a bunch of croakers, um, maybe some maharas, also known as man perch and whiting, and we're gonna try to cook those up actually live at the beach. We got a little frying pan and stuff with us, but another thing that I've really wanted to try is I brought my crab trap, and there's a very little known secret in Florida, and it's a, it's a hidden treasure that a lot of people don't know about. When you guys are swimming at the beach, all up and down the coast, there's these little crabs called speckled crabs. Now these guys don't grow as big as uh, blue crabs, but from what I hear, they are very tasty. I've caught them back in the day, it's what I use for permit bait, but I've never tried eating them. But I figured if they look like a blue crab and I researched it and everyone says they taste good, so we're gonna try to catch a bunch of those, bring those home, so let's get started. Here I got a crab trap that I have had for years. My buddy made it for me out of this chicken wire material stuff. And all it is, is uh, it's got two openings on each side and it's just a little ramp. The crabs go inside and then once they're in there, they eat the bait in the middle. There's a little cage right here. And then they they basically feast and they have a hard time getting out because crabs, when they go up that ramp, they fall and then they can't, can't really get out the same way. I don't know why they just are dumb like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some old fish that I had in my freezer into here and then we're gonna throw it out there. So we got our trap out at first. First thing I'm gonna try is I just put it right here in the trough in the surf. And then if we don't get any over here, I might bring it out there where it's a little bit deeper. But there's a lot of seaweed at this beach today, so it's kind of making it difficult. I don't know where the crabs are gonna be sitting or if they're even here. But that's normally where they are, just right in like the first 10 feet of the beach is usually where they're hanging out. And they bury themselves in the sand. That's why you'll never really see them when you're at the beach. All right, Vic, what are you getting ready to do? Well, we were gonna net some croakers and whiting and stuff, try to catch some crabs, try to cook some, catch some dinner to eat, but we saw a bunch of jacks or bluefish or tarpon busting a bunch of mullet, and there's just like, me and Brooks already like five or six pods of mullet just cruising down the beach, so I'm gonna try to cast net some. I rigged up the rod to flatline, and we're gonna just wait out there and see if we could get hooked up. These are big explosions, like these mullet are this big, they're not, it's not little fish eating them, you know? That's a big boy too. Alright, Vic, catch me something good. plan was to fish or slash cast net something and do a catch and cook for you guys on the beach but I don't know if that's gonna end up happening so we actually brought hot dogs as a plan B just in case we didn't catch anything and we got this little Coleman cooker boiler thing here that my dad has had since he was probably like 20 so it's really old and he loves it but we're probably going to try to catch some, cook some hot dogs here on the beach since I don't know if we're going to end up catching any fish. <laughs> this looks like the walk of the feet slash giving up. <laughs> he was out there for like an hour treading up to his neck and finally coming in. No bueno. No luck out there. 
It seems like as soon as I got out there, everything stopped popping, didn't it? No, it really didn't. Like, literally, we got here and everything was popping and everything was lit. Like, the beach was on fire for like 30 minutes. As soon as I get out there, completely soaked. Like, you saw me, I was swimming out there, wasn't oh, I? We saw it. <laughs> if you guys want a review on this, you're gonna get one because this thing was completely under the water, like straight up mullet run. 2K17 already started. Oh, we saw. All we could see was your head. <laughs> so yeah, that sucked. So I was out there for 37 minutes, guys. The GoPro's been running for 37 minutes and not a single bite. So you know what it's time to do? Crack Back. open a beer. <laughs> well, we kind of have low tide going on now. Since we've been here, yeah. the tide has gone out a lot. A lot. And this and it seems like this beach especially. Since you've even been out there, the tide has gone down a lot. So once the tide really went down, I stopped seeing fish rolling up out there. I yeah. thought for sure you wouldn't hook into like a jack or a bluefish or something. Yeah, me too. But, but what can you do? Our crab thing didn't work out too good. Our croaker thing didn't work out. Um, but I want to show you guys something real quick that Brooke brought up. I'll be right back. I have never seen this on the beach before. And Brooke actually brought this up to me. So this looks like plastic, doesn't it? It looks like green dyed plastic from a bag or something. This is actually a living like plant. I don't know what it is, if it's some type of algae or what it is, but this is what sea turtles, I guess, eat in the wild. And that's why they get confused with plastic bags and, and such and plastic products. Like you'd think a sea turtle would be smart enough to not eat plastic. Well, if it looks just like their food, then they're gonna be dumb enough to do it. This stuff looks exactly like exactly like plastic, feels like plastic, but it's actually a plant. So I thought that was pretty neat. Right? You guys know what this is? Comment below. I have no idea. I don't know if this was an animal or a plant, but it's got a bunch of crazy ridges. It almost looks like ridges you'd see in a pineapple, doesn't it? And it's kind of hollow on the inside. I have no idea what it is. I thought it was a sea, cu sea cucumber when I saw it from afar, but I guess it's some type of plant material. That is weird. Yeah. I've this entire never, beach, I've never seen that. the entire beach is just full of stuff that we've never seen before. I mean, that plastic stuff. And this isn't like the normal sargasm sea we you guys would yeah. see at the beach. This is just very stringy, um, very light, fluffy stuff. I don't know what it is or what's going on, but maybe you guys could help us out. All right, guys, so here is the situation. Brooke's dad has this burner from like the 1960s. This is it. That has been going on for generations. And today it finally decided to end its life on us. Yeah. So we, we, um, we were gonna do a catch and cook for you. Try to catch croakers, perch, whatever. Something at the beach with Brooke. And, um, but we brought a backup plan because fishing does not go as, as expected a lot of times. So we got some hot dogs. And luckily, these people down here had a charcoal grill going and we saw that they had it going and they actually needed a lighter so we helped them out they helped us out and they salvaged the day because otherwise we would have no hot food yeah. and i'm not gonna lie i was getting to be in a bad mood but oh yeah brooke yeah i was like all right we're gonna go <laughs> ask them <laughs> so brooke was brave enough to go ask them and uh it worked out so don't be afraid to ask a stranger for a favor sometimes guys so now we got nice warm hot dogs <laughs> yes, the catch and cook is not happening, but we're going to eat some little smokies and see you next clip something. <laughs> so if any of you guys follow Key West Kayak Fishing, aka Steve, from that channel, and if Steve, if you're watching, we kind of try to do what you do and like go and catch your, catch your whatever, your catch in the wild, cook it, bring a grill out there, but you've had a couple failed moments, well today was our failed moment, <laughs> the grill's going back. Not so good. And uh, when your lime for your fish tacos becomes the lime for your beer, that's what this lime's fate is going to be today. Well, today did not go as planned. As you guys see, there was no fish in this video. Um, but we did see some really crazy, crazy things on the beach today. First of all, if you guys want to see this crazy looking squid slug looking thing that's right here, you guys got to see that in a different video which was part of our adventure today, but we saw a crazy alien creature. You guys got to help us identify it. That's going to be in another video which you guys got to help, got to watch and got to help us identify because I've never, I've never seen what we saw today. It was kind of bizarre. We just saw a bunch of alien creatures washed up on the beach 
you guys got to see that on another video. And then another thing is, so we're up here in Stewart. Me and Brooke came up here to try to do a catch and cook. And uh, the spring mullet run is like kind of like at the tail end right now. And we saw a bunch of mullet getting busted. I thought we were going to hook up on a jack. Brooke thought I was going to hook up on a jack. Brooke just walked away for some reason. <laughs> Brooke thought I was going to... Didn't you? I thought you were going to hook up within the first like minute of you being out there. Because when we got here, there was just so many. And it was just epic. The, like, the beach was so full of life. And then as that tide went out, this beach, the tide, the tide line was very, very extreme. Mm -hmm. And I guess all those fish, fish pushed offshore. So we didn't get any bites. But um, it was just very bizarre because today there was all this weird plant life and stuff we've never seen before. I mean, we've been very, to the beach. Very weird seeming. Yeah, we've been to the beach so many times in our lives and normally you see like the sargasm or that red seaweed, but today there was just like, it almost looked like kelp mm -hmm. and, and that plastic stuff and just slimy, goopy. And then we saw some like green plant and then some red. It, it almost looked like it should have been from the Pacific Ocean. Oh, yeah. I have never seen it That's before. Very strange. Yeah. So sorry there was no fish in this video, but we had fun. Hopefully you guys had a good Memorial Day. And um, remember, stay salty, my friends. Get outdoors. Go be outside. Don't stay inside. Don't watch Netflix at night. <laughs> and um, I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye.